So then the next crunch time, Verstappen's still ahead, Hamilton second, and now Max has been told to give the place up. So unlike Brazil, where he wasn't, this time he has to give the place up. So we're coming around the, uh, the sweeping corners towards turn 27, the final corner. We get this bizarre moment. Verstappen has been told to do it strategically by his team. So he's clearly thinking, do it before the final corner and then basically try and pass Lewis back either into the final corner or with the DRS on the outside. So neither of them want to cross the, the DRS line first. And Lewis, I think, he, he said he didn't really know what was going on and maybe he was a bit confused, but I think he did know what was going on because he's clearly making an effort in a bizarre way to not overtake Max Verstappen for the race lead. So something is triggering him and I think it's the same thing. I think he wants to be behind at the DRS line. So they're both just going slower and slower and slower. And it, it's ridiculous, really. This is absolutely ridiculous. Max is trying to get the place up. Lewis thinks he's doing it tactically, so he doesn't want to pass him there. He wants to sit behind and then pass him in a different area. And they go slower and slower until they basically touch. Now, Lewis at this point, he should be passing Max here. This is the race leader suddenly going slowly. And for all he knows, maybe he's got an engine issue. Maybe something else is up. Apparently, he wasn't told that Max was, was due to give the place up, so he should just be sweeping past him. But he's thinking, no, I don't want to here because something is, is afoot. So he sits behind. Then, the moment of incident, was there a brake test here? Just brake testing me. I've just hit him, man. My wing's broken. Whilst Hamilton was following Verstappen so closely, does Max just hit the brakes and initiate contact? Now, the stewards ended up saying yes he did and if you listen to this on board you can just hear before the contact as max is in third gear he just slows and you can just hear the revs drop as it sounds like it's on the brakes and maybe the rear is just slightly locking up or certainly um slowing so it does seem like that we haven't got the data available to us sadly to to look at that exactly but the stewards did, and they have said, yes, it was a, a bit of a erratic braking from Verstappen. And with Hamilton right behind him, then um, it, it was clearly initiating a bit of contact there. And they gave him a 10 second penalty for that. And thankfully, that wasn't the end of the race in the championship, because that would have been a really odd and really sour way for this epic title fight to be decided. But we soon found out really why Lewis was driving us the way he did. In theory, he had to go past Verstappen. In reality, he probably should have done, and he did the next time. So here we go. Hamilton then, this time Verstappen slowing down at exactly the same point. Now Lewis does go to the inside, and look what happens. Max dives straight back. He's dived, you can see, just before the, uh, the DRS line, so he's passing Hamilton just after the DRS line, so he picks up the DRS on the exit as well and he takes the position. Now, this is not giving a place back at all. This is a token gesture really to the FIA. And this is what Hamilton was thinking the first time. He didn't want to pass him there. He wanted to pass him the main straight, so he took the position for good, which is really what was intended with the rule with Max taking the, the gain off the track earlier on. Now for me, this one, this is Red Bull and Verstappen taking the mickey with the rules a little bit here. We've had a situation in the past, back in 2008 in Belgium, where Hamilton has been the one taking the mickey with the rules a little bit. But I have to say that one was less clear cut. Let's have a look at this one from Spa. Hamilton alongside Kimi Raikkonen and gets forced off the road on the chicane, comes back on just behind, and then repasses at the very next corner. Now that was dealt with a, a severe penalty and cost Hamilton the race. And everyone knows that that's the outcome. And uh, so Red Bull and Verstappen, they must have known that they weren't gonna be allowed to just give the place back for about two seconds and then dive through and take it back for good again. And so they weren't. He had to give the place back again, only didn't do it in time. And the race was fully done at that point with Hamilton then running Verstappen a little bit wide, trying to get a bit of his own back for all these antics on track that mainly have been Verstappen aggressive. Red Bull trying to get away with as much as they possibly can in this really tight title fight, but it wasn't enough. 15 second penalty post-race for Verstappen, still enough to keep him second, but not allow him to get the, uh, the fastest lap point with a pit stop for fresh tires. Hamilton got that which leaves us neck and neck into the final race here in Abu Dhabi. It's going to be an absolute thriller, but can the drivers have a fair race? Can they just race wheel to wheel without the FIA looking into so many of these incidents through the Grand Prix 
It's not what I love to see in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. It seemed to me like Red Bull were really pushing the envelope on the rules. They did in Brazil as well. They got away with it. In Saudi, they weren't getting away with it so much. Three times the FIA intervened. One, to put Verstappen back on the grid. Two, with a five-second penalty for Verstappen running wide and running Hamilton wide. And three, with the brake test. Hopefully, with the two neck and neck heading into the final race, Verstappen with the lead, thanks to having one more race victory. Hopefully, they can race it out fairly and this thrilling season gets the finale it deserves. Well, that was a look at just part of the furious battle that went on between Hamilton and Verstappen in Saudi Arabia, but it was pretty much all race long they were going at it. So many other flashpoints as well. For more on them, check it out on F1 TV.